Okay. Good. So, Blake did not bring this up Friday, and I get why he did it. But Friday was his last day here at the ticket. And Blake's just kind of that way, you know, he didn't want to have to have a big conversation with Donovan and Matt or whoever else, but he will not be here anymore. And I know that you and I are probably the people he's had the most like on air tension with, but that's all just a bit. And I'm really upset that he doesn't work here anymore because I love that dude. It sucks. He's not here anymore. Definitely sucks. I'm a little bit jealous too that he is going out like this because it's exactly the way I think that I would want to go out, just disappear, and having months from now people wondering where's Blake? Like, yeah. Why why hasn't Blake been here? And uh yeah, the tension is fun, but I think that that also speaks to the most back and forth and like the chippiness sometimes mm-hmm. is like actually the guys that you know will think that's funny. And that who will give it right back to you. I feel like we've we've got that dynamic. We've definitely got that dynamic with Blake, Mm -hmm. Ham, Mino. You know, a lot of us like to nip at each other like that. It's ball busting, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, Blake's just really good at what he does. I think Blake really shined in these last, you know, this last month or so since Dan and Jake have been gone. And he's taken on more of a role whenever it was the five-hour show. And he's just kind of held things together and really shown, like, yeah... He was off the air quite a bit for Dan and Jake, and then he started to certainly flourish a lot more in that role, and then since Mm -hmm. then, I mean, he's just really good at what he does. Everybody likes him up here. It's just unfortunate that he's not going to be here. Yeah, I mean, it's obvious how many people like the Dan and Jake show, but a big part of what made them go, and even they would admit this, was Blake being added to a uh, show that was, they knew each other, But them working together as hosts was not formed yet. So having Blake as their producer really, I think, brought them together. And he told me what he's doing. And he also said that he was okay with us talking about this. We're not blindsiding him. Uh, He told me what he was doing, and it kind of gave me eye glaze. I don't remember exactly what he said. He's going to be working the Ferris wheel at the fair this year? No, I'm pretty sure I remembered if he said that. Uh It was something that powered me down, and I fell asleep halfway through it. But it was just something that, you know, is better for him and his family. So we're happy that he, you know, maybe can start making some good money and still work with TCU and Argyle and whatever else. But he just won't be here as part of the ticket team anymore. So, I don't know, if you're on Twitter or X or whatever, send Blake a nice note. Tell him we love you. We'll see you around. And, yeah. I don't know what's going to happen with where he was slotted, but uh, Blake will miss you, dude. All right, it's 931 here on the ticket.